Hello guys, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo, Principiante 3. My name is Alejandro Narmona and I'm going to be at your service. Here. So, Claudia, Antonio, thank you very much for logging in today, right on time. How are you today, guys? Good evening. All good? How do you say, todo bien? Yes, I good. All good. Very. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, very. All good. Todo All bien. good. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get uh, in down to business. To get down to business. Do you know what is the meaning of this expression? ¿Saben cuál es el significado de esta expresión? No. No. To get down to business is uh, hacer lo que venimos a hacer. Okay. Que nos enfoquemos. Vamos a estar hablando de okay. witty, 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 y pronto, boom, let's get down to business. Démosle. Okay. okay. All right, so let me go ahead and share. We're going to cover two topics today, guys. So, we got to get this going. There we go. So, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Okay, can you just a minute? Um, give me a second, guys. Here it is. I got it. Lesson objective. Lesson. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. 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 Uh huh. Very good. By the end of this class. By, By the end, end of this class, class, you will learn vocabulary. You will learn, you vocabulary, will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. For discussing parts of the body. How do you say cuerpo? Body. Body. How do you say parte del cuerpo? Part of the body. Part of the body. Part part of of the body. body. All right. I need a volunteer to read, please. Yep. Uh -huh. By being a class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing part of the body. All right. Thank you very much. So, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir sobre las partes del cuerpo. Okay. So, let's get this going. If you see me looking to my left or to my right, mm -hmm. my dog is acting kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on with my dog. All right, there we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, Leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this. Alrighty, guys. So let's get this going. Um, I'm going to use this friend right here. Okay, so what is this, guys? What part is this? The dog. Uh -huh. What part is this? How do you say cabeza? Head. Head, very good. How do you say nariz? Nose. Nose. How do you say ojos? Eyes. How do you say uh, Eyes. Ears. 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 How do you say cuello? Neck. Neck. How do you say pata? Neck. Um, well, pata o pie, pierna, in nuestro caso. 
Pierna, leg. Leg. All right, very good. So thank you. Say goodbye. It's kind of crazy right now. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's go ahead and work and um, give me just a sec. All right, so say it with me, please. Head. Head. Eyes. 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 Uh huh. Ears. 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 Nose. No. no. Mouth. 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 Mm -hmm. Lips. Lips. Red lips. Esa taquería, no, oyeron. So, lips. Red lips. No, red, red lips. Chin. 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 Mm -hmm. Con N. Chin. Chicks. 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 Very good. Chick. Chick. This vocabulary, guys, is, is not in the presentation. Right? So let me go ahead and open the, the chat right here in just a moment. All right. So how do you say cabeza? Head. 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 How do you say over? Eyes. 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 How do you say oreja? Ears. 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 Or ears. Yes. How do you say nariz? No. No. Nose. Nose. How do you say boca? Mouth. 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 Con mi perrito no les dije boca porque es diferente. Con ellos mouth. es mouth. Que sería trompa. Snout. 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 Mm -hmm. Pero no le digan a alguien, oh, my snout hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you say uh, mejillas? Chin. 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 Cheeks. Cheeks. Mm -hmm. Cheeks. 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 Correct. Mejillas. Very good. How do you Cheeks. say barbilla? Chin. 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 Very good. Chin. Um, and see what else. Frente. How do you say frente? Uh, Front. Forehead. 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 How do you say frente? Forehead. 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 How do you say pelo? Hi. Hair. 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 Pronounce it with me. Hair. 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 How do you say? Uh, estas son las cejas, ¿verdad? In Spanish? Sí, cejas. Okay, very good. So those will be eyebrows. How do you say eyebrows. cejas? Eyebrow. Eyebrow. How do you say pestañas? Oh. Eyelashes. 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 Párpados. Eyelids. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you say diente? Diente. Mm -hmm. Teeth. Tooth. 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 How do you say diente? Uno. Tooth. How do you say dientes? Tooth. 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 En plural? Tooth. Teeth. 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 Mm -hmm. Teeth. Very good. So guys, with this one, we're going to learn irregular plural. Ese es un buen ejemplo de plurales irregulares. Estamos llenos de ellos. Nosotros podemos decir, por ejemplo, mouths, bocas. Podemos decir ears, solo grabamos la S. Pero acá es un plural irregular. So tooth es uno. <clears throat> por ejemplo, acuérdense de Bluetooth. Ya te conectas en el Bluetooth. Eso sería uno. ¿Ok? Tooth. Okay. Y teeth es dientes. How do you say dientes? Teeth. 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 Dientes. Solo uno, diente. Tooth. 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 Very good. How do you say cuello? Neck. 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 Very good. Now, I recommend you to learn this en un día, guys. Ustedes lo pasan diciendo todo el día. En cualquier momento que tengan eh, tiempo, se los aprenden. 
Si gustan, tomen una foto suya de cuerpo completo. Y ahí ustedes le escriben qué es qué y se van acordando. Se tocan forehead, nose, mouth, chin, cheek, head, hair, ear, and so on and so on. All right? How do you say right. um, dedo? Finger. Finger. Say with me. Finger. 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 Very good. How do you say puño? Fist. Great. Fist. 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 Very good. How do you say pulgar? Thumb. Say with me. Thumb. 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 Pulgares arriba. Thumb. Thumbs up. Thumb. Thumbs up. Correct. Pulgares Thumbs abajo. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs Correct. Up. Very good. Um, how do you say mano? <clears throat> Hand. 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 Correct. Muñeca. Hand. No muñeca de doll. Eso es para jugar. Muñeca se dice wrist. 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 Excellent. Very good. Let's go to, how do you say espalda? Back. Back. Very good. Back. How do you say uh, hombros? Uh, shoulders. Mm -hmm. Shoulders. Yes. Yeah. So, shoulders. Shoulders. Mm -hmm. How do you say pecho? Mm. Uh, check. Chest. 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 Very good. Chest. 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 Okay, fantastic. Now, it is good to say, guys, that chest is this part. Okay? Chest. This is the chest where your mom rubs Big Bapuru when you're sick. This is the chest, okay? And okay. Uh, uh, the, the other part, los senos, pechos, it will be breast. 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 Fantastic. So, um, how do you say estómago? Stomach. 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 Say with me, stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, a little bit of Stomach. Which way, you guys? Neck. Say with me. Neck. 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 Mm -hmm. Neck. How do you say garganta? Throat. 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 Again. Throat. 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 Arm. Arm. Very good. How do you say antebrazo? Forearm. 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 Va antes de la cabeza. Forearm. Mm -hmm. Antes de pues, todo el brazo. How do you say? Elbow. 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 Very good. Uh, Pierna. El Leg. Leg. Fantastic. Rodilla. Uh, knees. Knee. Now, knee. Aquí viene algo muy interesante, guys. Siempre que ustedes vean la K y la M, ustedes nunca van a pronunciar, a pronunciar la K. No van a hacer ni. Simplemente ni. ¿Ok? Ni. Very good. Eso es uno de los fonemas. All right. How do you say tobillo? Ankle. 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 Don't confuse Anchor. it with tío. Tío is uncle. All right, so please don't say, me duele mi tío. You gotta say, my, on, my ankle hurts. So, veamos. Ankle. Ankle. Ah, look, at, look, at my, look at my, at my screen here. Ankle. Anchor. Ankle. Anchor. 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 Ahora miren la pronunciación de tío. Oh, uncle. Anchor. Anchor. Uncle. 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 All right, so I'm going to do it in English. You say it in Spanish, okay? Uncle. Uh, tío. Uncle. Tío. 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 Uncle. Tío. Uncle. Uncle. 
Tobio. Tobio. Uncle. Tobio. Tobio. Uncle. Tío. Uncle. Tío. Uncle. Tío. Tío. Uncle. Tobio. Tobio. Okay. We gotta practice that. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now let's go a little bit down so we can finish with this thing. Um, blah, blah, blah. How do you say pie? Food. 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 Okay. Pies. Feet. 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 El dedo gordo, ese que tanto duele. Toe. 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 All right. Toe. Guys, we already know the difference between ankle and uncle here. Super important, guys. Don't say, me golpeé la comida. Okay? <laughs> o quiero comer pie. We gotta be very careful in final sound. Foot. 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 How do you say pie? Foot. 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 How do you say comida? Food. 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 All right. Food. 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 Okay, very good. So, now I'm going to say it in English and you say it in Spanish, okay? Food. Comida. Food. Comida. Yeah. yeah. Food. Yeah. Si termina yeah. explosión, guys, en la explosión de la T de tomate, food. Yeah. Es pie. Si termina con D, food, 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 food. Puedo exagerar, obviamente. Puedo decir food, 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 para que ustedes vean la diferencia. So you can see the difference. But no native speaker will do it. Ningún, uh, ninguna persona de habla nativa les va a decir, I want to eat some food. ¿Ah? Ellos no lo van a hacer así. ¿Okay? Nos tenemos que ir acostumbrando. Food. Food. Comida. 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 Food. Pie. Food. Pie. Food. Pie. Pie. Food. Comida. 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 Food. Comida. Comida. Food. Comida. Pie. All right, very good. Guys, I only hear like three or four different people talking. Stop. Well, de hecho estamos bien poquitos ahora, pero anyways. <laughs> All right, very good. <clears throat> so, do me a favor. Well, I don't know if you can activate your cameras, guys, but I would like to see you do this exercise, all right? Because I'm going to touch a part of my body, and I wanted to mention the name of it, okay? You ready? Entendí. Um, translation. Voy a tocar una parte de mi cuerpo. Ustedes me van a decir esa parte en inglés. All right. Okay. Uh, head. 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 Uh, for, for, head. Forehead. For, forehead. Uh, eyebrow. Eyebrow. Teacher, yo estoy en el teléfono, así que no lo veo siempre. Ah. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry. Lo que yo sé en inglés, usted lo en español. Ok. Pero menos. no lo veo. Ah, pues repito yeah. lo que yo dicen en inglés. All right. Ok, ok. <laughs> Perfect. So. Mom. Mom. Mm -mm. Mouth. Mouth, correct. Mouth. 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 Lips. 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 One. Uh, Two. Uh -huh. mm. All of them. Teeth. Teeth, correct. Chest. Chest. Chest is this. No. Cheeks. No. Cheeks. Cheeks. Chin. 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 Mm -hmm. Ears. Ears. Uh, eyes. Well, this one, the whole thing. Eyes and the thing that covers the eyes, lo que cubre los ojos, parte. Um, they are uh, eyelids. Mm, eyelids, uh huh. Here. 
eyelid. No. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Correct. Very good. Here. Chest. Chest. Uh huh. Shoulders. 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 Arm. Uh, now Arm. This, this is going to be the whole arms. Arm. Uh -huh. mm. This? Elbow. 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 Correct. All of this? Arm. Arm. Here. Here. Brace. Right here. Brace. Verse. Almost. This pronunciation is kind of weird. So, wrist. 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 And this? Fist. Uh -huh. Fist. Fist. Very good. Uh, dumb. Dumb. Uh, dumb. Si usted me dice dumb, me está diciendo tonto. <laughs> dumb. La pronunciación would be like here. Dumb. Dumb. Mm -mm. Ahí me sigue diciendo. Dumb. Dumb. All right. Dumb. 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 Very good. Está bien. Fantastic. Um, let me see. Hay más, guys. Obviamente no es clase de medicina. No vamos a pasar una hora en esto. Por ejemplo, knuckles, nudillos, right? Nudillos. Very good. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but let me see. No, I can't. What is this? Your leg. My leg. And this? Knee. My knee. Fantastic. And this? Your foot. 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 Now, these that are moving right now. Hair. Your shoes? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hair. Hair. Is the other one instead of uncle? Ah. Uncle. 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 Very good. Uncle. What is this? Uh, the, what is inside the shoe, obviously? Uncle. What <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have inside foot. my shoe? Foot. 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 Very foot. good. And in plural? Feet. 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 Very good. How do you say the word of the pie? Toe. Toe. Toe or toe? Toe. 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 Very good. This? Neck. Mm. Neck. 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 When you hear in the neck, now you know why. Okay? Neck is quail. And how do you say garganta? Throw. 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 Very good. Alrighty, guys. So that's all. We are finished with the body parts. Remember, you have to memorize them. All right. So, an exercise that are, have you ever played? This famous clown that used to play cabeza, estomago, zapato. Did you play that game in a in a birthday? Yes. Yeah. So if you have. Uh, see? If you have children, this is a very good way for you to learn your children about body parts and uh, also you, for you to memorize them. So if you can make a small competition, believe me, I use this activity in my classes, I mean, uh, in front of people, so they can memorize the body parts. You can do it too. It's only a recommendation, all right? All right, you ready to continue? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So I, I yes. Getting here, you're so excited. All right. Woo! There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> How is that a question? <laughs> no, I know. I know you guys are excited. You're participating, and I love it. All right. So, read it with me, please. By the end of this class. By the end of this class. class you will learn end. how to use. You will learn how to learn use. How to use. You will learn how to use. How to use. You will learn how to use. Have plus noun. Have, have plus, plus noun. noun. Plus noun. El signo de más? Plus. Plus. Mm -hmm. plus. And feel plus adjective. And feel plus, plus adjective. adjective. To express health problems. To express how problem. Good job. How do you say problemas de salud? Health health problems. Very good. Additionally. 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 
You will practice a conversation which illustrates. You will practice, you will practice, practice a conversation which illustrates. Which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. How, how this topic is used in a real life setting. Very good. Real, real life. Real life. Real, real life. life. Linking. Real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Mm -hmm. Sitting. Real life. Cuando ustedes tengan una palabra que termine con un sonido mm -hmm. y la otra palabra, la justo la que le sigue, empieza con el mismo sonido, esto se llama held sound. Son sonidos que vamos a sostener y vamos a soltar el sonido hasta la segunda palabra. Por ejemplo, esto no lo vamos a hacer. No vamos a decir real life. Real life. No lo vamos a hacer. Sino que vamos a decir real life. Real, real life. Real life. Real life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody, real life. 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 Mm -hmm. So, si se fijan, no la soltamos acá y la volvemos a armar acá, sino que Real life. Y la soltamos bien la segunda palabra. Esto, guys, es Real life. para que ustedes suenen un poquito más tuyos. So, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo usar tengo más sustantivo y siento más adjetivo para expresar problemas de salud. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este se usa, um, bueno, cómo se usa este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Uh, guys, antes que entremos al tema, ¿qué es un noun? What is a noun for you? Nombre. It's a, uh -huh, a name, the name of things. So, give me examples of nouns. All of the body parts that we mentioned, todas las partes del cuerpo que mencionamos son nouns. Back, shoulder, chest, breath, El nombre de cada cosa. Jennifer Aquino is a noun. Claudia is a noun. Alejandro is a noun. Computer, table, eraser, nouns. Simplemente el nombre de las cosas. And what is an adjective? Anybody? ¿Qué se dice del, del nombre? Lo de como la... Mm -hmm. um, yes, you're Lo que se quiere here. decir, explica. Yes. Pretty much, guys, the adjective is a description of the noun. Es una descripción del noun. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So, if you want to say happy, feliz, es un adjetivo. Okay? Sad, adjetivo. ¿Por qué? Está describiendo. ¿Estamos? Happy, beautiful, important, ugly, old, tall, short, fast. Thin, adjetivo. All right, let's get it done, guys. Let's continue. And uh, please go ahead and mute your microphones so you can hear this too. All right. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the example. All right. 
before we get into the grammar thing, what is the meaning of what's the matter? Does anybody know? What, what's the meaning of what's the matter? ¿Qué es lo que sucede o qué te pasa? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Qué pasa? What's wrong? ¿Qué sucede? O algo está mal. Exactly. So what's wrong is mostly used for negative. Okay. And what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? Not necessarily bad. No necesariamente mal. Now, another way to ask, how are you? And how do you feel? ¿Cómo estás? How do you say cómo estás? How are you? How are you? Everybody with me, please. How are you? 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 How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do? How do? How do you feel? How do you feel? Everybody, let's do it again. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Okay, good. Pausa. En esto, guys, es súper importante esto. Nosotros tenemos que aprender a separar. Y sí. esto solo viene con la práctica y mejor que lo entiendan desde, desde ya. El inglés escrito y el inglés hablado son dos cosas totalmente diferentes. All right? Por eso yo, no les, yo nunca, cuando les hablo en inglés, nunca les hablo como que son bebés. How do you feel? Porque un nativo nuevamente no les va a hablar así. Y quiero que sus actividades de este escucha estén súper afinadas. All right, so no se enfoquen en leer lo que dice acá, sino como yo lo digo. ¿Estamos? Okay. All right, let's do it again. How do you feel? How do you feel? Way better. Thank you very, very much. How are you? How, How are, are you? you? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's the matter? What's the, What's matter? the matter? I have a headache. I have, I have a headache. I have a backache. I have, I have a backache. I have the flu. I have, I have the flu. flu. I, I have the flu. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Very good. Good job, guys. So, how do you, um, what do you think is the meaning of I have a headache? Dolor de cabeza. Very good. Me duele la espalda? Backache. 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 Back okay. The flu. I have the flu. The flu. You're always going to say the flu. Don't say I have flu. Always the flu. Bajun. The, 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 the flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. It's like the El flu. Salvador, right? If you say I live in Salvador, they are going to think you live in Brazil. So it goes, with, goes together. Now, if you notice, guys, <clears throat> have está siendo seguido de un noun. Dolor de cabeza es un nombre. Backache, un nombre. Gripe, un nombre. So, ocupamos el verbo have con nouns. All right? Y si se fijan, ocupamos adjetivos. All right? I feel homesick. Es cuando tú extrañas tu hogar. Nostalgia. Nostalgia, exactamente. I feel better, me siento mejor. I don't feel well, no me siento bien. Si se fijan, estamos ocupando eh, adjetivos. Bueno, de hecho, um, well es un adverbio, pero eso lo vamos a tratar en otro, en otro momento. All right? So, we have adjectives that are negative. How do you say enfermo? Sick. Sick. Horrible. Uh, oh. Very good. Don't worry about it. I, I was just testing you. Quería saber si ya lo sabían. So let's do it with sick. 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 Everyone, sick. 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 I have sick or I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. Very good. Awful. 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 Careful with this one, guys. Tengamos un poquito de cuidado con esta. Este es el schwa. Okay. Um, no sé si se acuerdan si de las clases. Que yo les menciono el schwa como que ustedes van a rapear. Como que van a decir, ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Solo bajamos un poquito la mandíbula. Oh, oh, oh. No vamos a hacer esto. A, ah, U. Oh. Si abrimos la boca, como cualquier vocal entera, entonces no está bien eso. Solo, oh, oh, oh. Me siento malísimo, me siento horrible. I feel awful. I feel awful. Everyone, I feel awful. I feel awful. awful. I feel awful. 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 Uh, si les da pena hacerlo en el grupo, no deberían, pero si no, pónganse a batear más noche cuando termina la clase. Oh, 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 hasta que no. les salga. Right? Okay. Piensen oh, que. Oh, uh, oh. <coughs> no puedo mencionar el nombre aquí. All right, next one. Terrible. 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 What is the meaning of terrible? Terrible. 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 Exactly. So, feel or have? Feel. Feel, correct. Mm -hmm. All of these are adjectives, guys. Next one, miserable. 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 Fine. 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 Mm, asegurémonos de terminar el ending sound. Son los sonidos finales. Estoy escuchando five. Y tenemos que terminarlo Fine. con la N. Fine. 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 Exageremos la N hasta que nos acostumbremos. Fine. 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 Great. 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 All right. Very good. Terrific. 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 Esto suena negativo, ¿verdad? Terrific, sí. Pero no. <laughs> But it's not the case. You can say, I feel terrific. Es como me siento grandioso, me siento súper bien. Terrific. Okay. Now, I feel terrible is the negative one. Okay. okay. Next one, fantastic. 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 Very good. How do you say me siento enfermo? I am. I feel sick. Feel sick. I feel sick. I or feel I am sick. I am sick. sick. I am sick. Or I am sick. Excuse me, I'm drinking sick. a little bit of water, guys, because I have a sore throat. That's another one. I have a sore throat. I'm going to do it right here. Sore throat. Sore throat. I have a sore throat. I have amygdalitis, so <clears throat> I got to be drinking water if I speak too much. All righty. So, how do you say me siento? On the left hand me side of this bien. chart. Anybody? No se le Me siento bien. I feel good. I am fine. Ajá, uh -huh. fine. fine. Me siento genial. Great. great. I am great. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. I'm great or I feel great. Lo que ustedes quieran, en dos semanas. Me siento terrific. It's like, like fantastic. Like a synonym. Un sinónimo de fantastic. So I feel terrific, I feel fantastic. Tengo gripe. I have the flu. Everyone, I have the flu. I have the flu. Tengo dolor de cabeza. I have a headache. I have a headache, very good. Tengo... Dolor de espalda. I have back ache. Back ache. Tengo dolor de estómago. I have a stomach. Stomach ache. Very good. And this is, guys, when you really learn, when you start working with patterns. Cuando estamos viendo los patrones. So let's go ahead and finish up the video. And then continue, okay? Give your microphone, please. 
how to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of this adjectives towards the right I feel sick awful terrible miserable fine Great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, very good. Guys, it is always important for, <clears throat> I'm sorry, for you to complete this. Like, for example, Jennifer did. Um, I don't know who has this, but thank you. Hector Cabrera, Jorge Palacios, thank you very much for completing it. And this is in every single class, okay? Now, um, the only recommendation that I'll give you here, Jennifer, is for you to use capital I, not lowercase. How okay. Do you, are you that? Capital. Lower. Capital. Mm -hmm. Capitals. And lowercase is minuscule. Lower. Lowercase. All right, guys. So let's get this done. Let's try to complete this right here. And this will be the last thing that we, we will do today. So I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. <clears throat> yep. Go ahead. Listen. Listen, listen to the conversation. Where do these people hurt? Uh, there may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, excellent. So let me do the Spanish. Escuche la conversación. ¿A dónde le duele a esta persona? ¿A dónde les duele a estas personas? Pueden haber una o dos respuestas correctas en cada conversación. So, pretty much I'm going to play the audio, guys. And you're going to tell me what does it hurt. Got it? So it's uh, four, four items exercise. Remember, the fact that we do it here doesn't mean that you don't have to do it online. El hecho que lo hagamos aquí no significa que no lo tienen que hacer ustedes. Siempre lo tienen que hacer desde su plataforma. All right? All right. Let's get it done. Mm -hmm. It's not letting me play. I'm going to try another window. Perhaps we can do it this way. Sweet. There we go. Thank you. 
Al, al, como a los 20 segundos empieza la conversación. Where do these people hurt? I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Feel well. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. All right. What's going on with him? Mm, he has a headache. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, yeah. Remember that I um, I mentioned something to you today that I'm having trouble with my. No sé com I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say, a él le duele la garganta. He's, I'm sorry. He has a sore throat. He, he has, has a sore, sore throat. Mm -hmm. Ah, he has a sore throat. He has, but he, he has a sore throat. Sore throat. throat. All right, very good. So, um, Antonio, Claudia, Marta, and Jairo. ¿Pudieron entender el audio? Yes. Yes? yes. All right, thank you. Marta, Antonio? Yes. No, yo no lo entendí. Claudia, right? Sí. Okay, yes. very good. Guys, don't be afraid of telling me that you don't understand. No tengan miedo de decirme que no se entiende. Es un idioma nuevo. Y algunos tenemos o hemos estudiado antes o hemos tenido más contacto con el idioma que la universidad, que el colegio, que fui a clases por cinco años, pero ya no me acuerdo, etcétera. Las realidades para todos son diferentes, así que siéntanse cómodos de expresarlo. ¿Ok? okay. Um, Claudia, si a ti esto te, se te dificulta, lo que te recomiendo es que pongas audios eh, básicos. Ahí puedes ponerlo en internet audios básicos con subtítulos y tú puedes uh -huh. ir viendo y escuchando al mismo al, al, al tiempo. Okay. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Let's get ready, guys. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh! Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah. All right, what's going on? I'm sorry? Uh, Her back and elbow. Her back and elbow is terrible. Okay, all right, thank you very much. And uh, Claudia, this goes yeah. to you too. En este caso, hay que tratar de relacionar, por ejemplo, en cosas de selección múltiple, multiple selection o multiple choice, lo que escuchamos con lo que leemos. Yes. Okay. Y así poquito eh, a poco, practice makes perfect, ¿ok? Ok, en este caso son las dos respuestas. Yes, because okay. she said, my back and my elbow. Ajá. Uh -huh. right. Esta parte sí la entendí, pero... Como nunca nos había dado una que fueran dos respuestas. Ok. All right. No, but you did great. You did great. Let's go with the next one. We still have time. Thanks for your help. Three. Here, 
Have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. What do you have? Tooth. 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 Correct. Tooth. 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 Remember, like backache, headache, stomachache, toothache, etc. And the last one. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Four. Last line. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. All right. What's going on? Eyes. Eyes. Wrists. And wrists. Eyes and wrists. Let's see if you're correct. You are indeed correct. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. How we can give? How can we difference when we when we are going to use sore or ache? Um, pretty much the thing is that sore is irritado, all right? Oh, okay. Okay, duele bastante. So in this one, it really depends. Sore eyes, porque es adentro. Sore throat, yeah, es como adentro. Es como una, una leve irritación. All right? So, for example, if you have a headache, no hay nada irritado adentro. Oh, puede que med medicamente sí, ¿verdad? Pero, if you have stomachache, puede ser que algo lo esté causando, pero no, quizás no una irritación. Right? Yo okay. mantuviera casi solo como sore eyes, sore throat, y lo demás con headache. headache. Or my, if you're not sure, my eyes hurt. My wrist hurts. All right? Okay. All right, fantastic. Or si no, we can do something like this. This is a live exercise. Thor versus egg. There we go. Internet is beautiful. I have a backache. My back hurts. I have pain. in my little shoulder. La gran diferencia entre pain, las demás palabras que indican dolor, es que pain es sustantivo, no es un verbo. Let's see what we can find. <clears throat> this is a good example. Thank you, Jennifer. If you ever have these type of questions and you're not, a, you don't have a teacher around, you can also do this, All right? Obviously, it, you know, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to read, right? But let's go. Thank you. There you go. So you have hurt, pain, egg, and sore. Mm -hmm. Hurt significa estar lastimado, ¿verdad? Es un verbo. Y también me duele. So my elbow hurts, me duele el codo. Uh, my finger hurts. Oh, no, her finger hurts, le duele el dedo por cualquier razón. All right. Um, let me see. Oh, we have a lot of examples. But you get the point, right? Entienden el punto de 
que si tienen alguna diferencia, así de simple. Yo lo busqué como her versus egg. Y miren lo que encontré. Uh, sore versus egg. Got it? Ok. And you have a lot of examples right there. Esa es una muy buena manera, guys, de ustedes empezar a ver patrones. Nunca se queden con esas dudas. Pregúntenle a alguien, ocupemos Google y nunca se queden nada más con el mismo link. Siempre revisen dos o tres links porque yo puedo subir esas cosas y puedo estar equivocado. Así que siempre busquemos el patrón de que dos o tres links estén de acuerdo o nos estén dando la misma información aunque sea con diferentes palabras. All right, All right guys. Okay. So, any questions about body parts about when to use feel and when to use have no no jennifer right claudia no entendí tiene alguna pregunta de, de en, cu en cuanto al vocabulario de los body parts en cuanto a por ejemplo cuando ocupamos um, have cuando ocupamos feel no Okay. Antonio, any question? Alguna pregunta, Antonio? No, no. Okay, very good. Marta? No, teacher. Airo? No. No? Okay, so, cuando esto salga en el examen, entonces van a salir todo super bien, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, before I close the session, guys, copy the information of the chat. Copy the information of the chat, solo sombrella y denle copy paste, porque aquí va a buscar que no tenemos en el en la presentación. Okay. Lo haga por favor, pégalo en el WhatsApp group. Alrighty, guys. So it was my pleasure. Thank you for being here at another class. In inglés corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona. I really hope to see you tomorrow. As you can see, we have to speed up the process and we have to study very hard. So, thank you and have yourself a very good night. Take care, guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Welcome. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. See, see you. you.